Hello everyone. I hope you're all well and keeping safe in lockdown. First thing this morning is a short quiz. Guess who these ears belong to? Here's an example. Spock, did you get it right? So here we go with the quiz. How did you do? Wasn't really that hard, was it? The dog, by the way, is Kiva, our daughter's dog. The ears were all shapes and sizes, but they're used for hearing and for listening. I wonder, do you always listen well? Jesus had something to say about using our ears well. Over these last few weeks, we have been hearing how the crowds of people had been following Jesus wanting to hear his teaching and having his healing. One day there were so many people that he had to get into a boat on the lake and it had to talk to them from there. Jesus told stories or parables as they are called and in them he included things and people and places that his disciples and the crowd would recognise. This day by the lake he told the story of the sower and the seed.
many of you will know the story. After Jesus had told this parable, he told the crowd to use their ears well and hear what he was really saying. Not everyone was listening well. Later he explained the parable to the disciples and to some of his other followers. And he gave them the real meaning of the story. And that meaning is for us today too. The seed is the word of God and the different grounds are those people listening to those words. The stony path. These ears are full of wax. They're blocked. The words mean nothing. They're not interested. The rocky ground. Maybe have a wee bit of wax in their, those ears, but they do like the sound of what they hear. They're good words, but they make no difference to their lives. The thorny ground. These ears can hear well enough, and yes, it would be good to follow Jesus. But then there comes some interference. Career, money, want to be one of the crowd. And as the interference grows, so the words of Jesus get drowned out. And it all becomes too hard to keep going. And then there is the good ground. No wax in these ears, no interference. The words go right in and become life-changing. They want to tell others and to pass the words or the seed on to other people. Following Jesus wholeheartedly. Jesus urged his disciples and followers to use their ears well and to listen to his words and to let them take root deep in their lives. And he says the same to us. Don't be distracted. Don't tune out. Because if you do, you will miss the words that are vitally important. And those words will change your life forever. The song I chose for us to sing in a moment is, I have decided to follow Jesus. I chose it because of how this song came to be. It ties in with the seed falling on good ground and then that good seed being spread out to others. So young folk, I'm setting you a task to find out how this song came about. Send your answers to inquiries at sandyfordhenderson.net and then I will give you the answer next week and there might be some prizes for those who enter.